We are entering the newest casino on the Las Vegas Strip. The Horseshoe Casino went through a lot of changes before being officially renamed from when it used to be Bally's. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the new attractions that were added just before the name change. But first, we have to check in. Let's go. This is the Resort King Room at the Horseshoe Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. I was able to book this room directly through Horseshoe for $32, plus $39.95 resort fee, plus some other fees. I got this place for just over $81 on a weekday. Now, I got a good deal at the front desk where they actually upgraded me to a higher floor without me even asking because they had plenty of rooms available, and I got a pretty cool view you guys are gonna love. I can actually see some of the Bellagio fountains from up here, so it was nice of them to do that at the front desk. I didn't ask for it, but I did tip $20 after the person gave it to me. This room is 450 square feet with the king size bed to come with it, modern decor inside all the way throughout. This mirror is something really cool to have here inside of this room because it's completely full size, so you can see yourself from head to toe before going out for the evening. I am six foot three and I can see my whole body in this mirror. Along with the king bed, you have dual end tables for it. You have two comfortable cushion chairs right here. And you also have your desk and workspace here for any of you that are coming here for business or for work, you can get some work done before you go ahead and head out and have fun. As we check out the bathroom in here, you'll see that it has everything you need. It is a standalone shower. There is no bathtub in here, but it's plenty clean, spacious enough for what you need. Definitely great for either a single traveler or a couple coming here to enjoy a nice king bed at the center of the strip for an affordable price. The closet in this room is what you would come to expect from any major hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. You have plenty of space to hang your clothes. So if you're coming here for a conference and you have nice clothes to hang up or you're going out for a nice evening out for dinner one day, you've got space to put your finer clothes. Also, you have your safe down here where you can store all of your valuable items plus any money that you win while you're playing down at the casino. In case you'd rather watch TV, instead of going out on the Vegas Strip and gambling, eating and having fun, you can because you have a plenty big screen right here to keep you entertained. During the booking online, this room earned me 71 tier credits and 71 reward credits. One of the big changes that took place here when they rebranded from Bally's to Horseshoe was remodeling the entire poker room that you see right here behind me. This is the newest poker room on the Las Vegas Strip. In the entrance here, they're gonna have all sorts of plaques and memorabilia signed by past winners. And this cabinet right here is going to house the $50,000 bracelet that you get if you win the main event at the World Series of Poker. As you enter the Horseshoe Casino, you'll notice on the casino floor, you have all the gambling and you have the registration desk, but that's really about it. Many of their amenities are actually going to be on the lower level. And we're gonna go and check out the newest one they have, the arcade. So down here, the Cabinet of Curiosities bar is new. The National Geographic spot is new. The arcade is new. One popular attraction that has been here at Horseshoe for years is Bodies. Now, this is gonna be similar if you've ever been to the Bodies exhibit over at the Luxor, it's a different company. Now, it is just over $33 for adults if you buy tickets here up front. They do have discounts for locals, seniors, and military. But if you scan the barcode on the sign outside here and you buy the ticket online, you get it as an adult for right around $29.
one fun thing here to do at the Horseshoe Casino on the lower level that is appropriate for all ages of the family is to come right down here and play Twilight Zone by Monster Mini Golf. I have done this myself. For anyone who's five years and older, it's $12.95 to play 18 holes of mini golf. Four and under for kids are free. Now aside from the mini golf, they do also have arcade games you can play. They do have a small bowling alley. They have air hockey, they have skee ball. They do have prizes you can win from the arcade as well. So it's a good way to spend a good hour to two hours when you're down here. Two bucks is a steal on the Las Vegas Strip for a water bottle. If you want to see some cool photos here at Horseshoe, National Geographic Rarely Seen is one of the newest attractions they have that opened in the second half of 2022. Now, to get a deal on going into this place, it's normally $33 for an adult here and also $33 for an adult over at Real Bodies. However, if you buy a ticket to go into Real Bodies, then to go over and see National Geographic's Rarely Seen, you can get an add-on for just $10. So if you're gonna do both, you will get a serious discount. Each one takes about 45 minutes to walk through at your own pace. Look guys, it's another claw machine. Except this one, I bet if I put $100 in it and get 100 attempts, I'll probably get more value from this and have a better chance of winning than I did on that slot machine that I played the other day. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The Cabinet of Curiosities is a mystical bar and lounge like no other. Not only can you relax and enjoy a couple cocktails, but you can also have an immersive experience by exploring the cabinets containing many objects from around the world. You scan their QR codes and discover the story behind each object. This door is not a decoration. If you pick up the phone, you will get a password that will grant you access across the door containing a hidden speakeasy. If you don't wanna to head to the south end of the strip and go wait in line to take your photo at the famous Las Vegas sign, just come here to Horseshoe. Take your picture right down here. Welcome to the arcade. This is the newest attraction at Horseshoe that they put in late 2022. Obviously appropriate for all ages in the family, but don't worry, mom and dad. They have a video poker bar right next to the arcade so you can drink, gamble, they have a few games of their own in there. But the main arcade area itself, this is where you will find the nicest, newest, cleanest arcade you have ever seen in Las Vegas. The cards that you load up your credits with, it's $1 for one credit. Most of the games are gonna be $1.50, up to $8 depending on the game and how long it lasts. But this is something that you can do to easily kill an hour or more of time here at Horseshoe. day off from training at the gym. But you know what? If you're here in Vegas, you need to work out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. As you will notice, this is actually a pretty good sized workout room at a hotel. Now they do have plenty of cardio. They have half a dozen treadmills. They've got ellipticals. They've got bikes for you. They do have numerous machines for various body parts. And they also have a small free weight section here of dumbbells that go up to 75 pounds. It's probably not gonna be what you're quite used to at your gym at home, but if you're traveling, you can get a decent workout in here while you're on your stay. At the very end of the walkway on the ground level, you will come to the entrance to the pool, which is closed during season. Pool season in Vegas typically closes from October to about March or April. 
The other thing you'll find over here is the entrance to the monorail. This monorail station is one of the stops on the east side of the Las Vegas Strip. It starts at MGM and goes all the way up to Sahara with numerous stops in between. Let's get something to eat. Now, here at Horseshoe, if you want to get some food, they do have a food court with a lot of generic options. They also do have a high-end steakhouse here, but there's actually plenty of food just outside in front of the property. So follow me. We got the Mediterranean food here. I got the beef and lamb wrap. This was $14.95, plus the water bottle was $3. Definitely paying strip prices. All in all, a little over $23 for everything. When you order, you have five different sauces to choose from. I asked them to give me the spicy one. We'll see how it is. It's not that spicy. I like the beef and lamb taste. I also got it with pickles, onions, tomatoes, and lettuce. So at the end of this meal, the meat really, I would say, did not have a lot of flavor to it. You could taste the meat, but the flavor really comes from all the veggies they add in this. So for $14.95 plus three plus dollars for water, over 20 bucks for this, was it a great value? I would have to say it was not. The food was pretty decent, better than eating at snacks at the Mirage. It was a little bit spicy, not as spicy as like when I ate at Chi over at the Strat. So would I come here again? It eh, maybe, but it just would not be my first choice. When you're looking to find your Uber lift pickup spot here at Horseshoe, understand it is not at the main valet entrance. The registration desk is right behind me. I'm standing here next to the box office where you buy your show tickets. The Uber and Lyft pickup spot is on the north side of the building here. So you will not actually get picked up on Las Vegas Boulevard. You're actually going to get picked up on Flamingo on this side of the building. Although Bally's just rebranded into Horseshoe, lots of people don't know that before this was Bally's, it used to be the original MGM property in 1973. Now, unfortunately, it does have a little bit of dark history because in 1980, that is when this property caught on fire. And unfortunately, it did cost 87 people their lives. It was later sold in 1985 to Bally's. And then later, a year after that, it reopened as Bally's until last year in 2022 when it just became Horseshoe. Talking about the pros and cons of staying here at the Horseshoe Hotel and Casino. Now we'll start with the cons first and there's actually very few of them. So the biggest one I saw of staying here at this property was the limited amount of food options. Now outside of the steakhouse that they do have here, that is their high-end option, you are kind of on a uh, short list of places you can go at that are unique. They do have the food court, those are just your generic, like your Subway and stuff like that that you can find pretty much anywhere. The deli was closed when I was here. It's closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as of making this video. So you don't have a lot of food options inside the hotel and casino itself, but you step right outside into the shops out front to the bazaar, you will have more food options like you saw me eat earlier. The other con that just about everybody can relate to is when you get smacked with that resort fee here. So $39.95 for the resort fee, plus some fees, taxes. It was a little bit over $43. Uh, total on the resort fee, other tax and fees for the room, you know, drives up the room price or drives up the total cost to be more than double the room price. 
talking about the pros of staying here. Now, the biggest one I think is the location. You are right here, center of the strip, in the heart of the action at this property. Also is the price. So the price for where you're located on the strip, I think is a good bargain. It's very much a value friendly place if you're gonna ask me for my opinion on it. So if you're on a bit of a budget, you can still have a good time here in Vegas, right near a lot of the action, uh, even if your budget's not as big as you know a lot of other people when they come here. But the other thing is the quality. For what you get here for this price, I thought was very good for the room. How spacious the room was, the decor of the place, the fact there's a mini fridge in there that is unstocked. So you can actually put your own stuff in there. You don't have to worry about it being fully stocked. You take something out and getting charged for it. You don't have to worry about that. The room was great. You know, there was uh, the toilet paper dispenser was a little loose from the wall. And one of the uh, curtains didn't have like the stick on it used to open it up. But those are small things. Those are little things. The quality for the price of the room, I thought was probably one of the best features of this place. The activities they have on the property here are actually more than a lot of people would realize. Because when you walk the casino floor and the registration area, you don't see a whole lot until you take the escalator or the stairs and go down to the lower level. Then you see a lot of the activities they have here. And the cool thing is a lot of these activities are all ages appropriate. So this is actually probably a better family spot to stay at than a lot of people would actually give it credit for. I have a few employee shout outs I would like to do here. Shout out to Jeff at the front desk who helped me check in. He was super awesome. And I tipped him 20 bucks for helping with the kiosk. He actually asked if I was sure. He goes, oh, are you sure? I said, yes, keep it, enjoy. I appreciate the help. Shout out to Sean, one of the supervisors at the front desk here. Shout out the uh, World Series of Poker Room to Anthony and to Kimberly. Shout out as well goes to Vanessa working the arcade. She was super cool when I signed up for my card to play. So she was very helpful. And last, but definitely not least, Shout out to the guys who clean and paint the outside of this hotel and all the hotels and casinos along the Las Vegas Strip. I saw those guys out there working this morning as I checked out. Those guys do a dangerous job, 25 stories in the air above the ground to paint and make sure these places are clean so people can come and enjoy themselves here in Las Vegas. So shout out to all those guys who do that work that nobody sees, no one really recognizes, but we get to enjoy the benefit of the work that they do that is quite dangerous.